Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Terrence J. Right now, you're watching Madame Noir. Let's play some safe words. In this show, celebrity friends become frenemies. So the, the idea is like a collaborative idea. I partnered with uh, Matador Content, who does lip sync battle and a lot of fun shows. And it's a show MTV have been trying to crack for a while. And so we all came together and we have this fun celebrity best friend driven game where two celebrity best friends go at each other to try to make each other say their safe word. So it's a lot of fun. We use social media games. You know, we use truth or dare type games. Uh, this is the, the game when Amber Rose sent the infamous tweet to Beyonce that she's Becky with the short hair. This is the game that made her do it. This is the reason why. You know what was crazy, man? Kevin is just as busy as he is. He's just such uh, a, a huge supporter of, of, you know, anybody young trying to do their thing, man. I called Kev and was like, yo, Kev, I'm executive, whatever you need. I was like, don't you want me to tell you about T, I'll be there. I'm like, dude, you're like shooting Jumanji right now. What do you? Let me know when it is and I'll be there. And he was there and didn't even have to tell him what the show was. And he came and he killed it and he stayed longer than he was supposed to stay. And he's just such an amazing dude. And I'm just, you know, I'm really blessed to have him in my phone. Are You The One is a show that um, is on its sixth season. And so I'm hosting season six. You have 22 people from all over the country and they're living in the same house and the goal is to find your perfect match in that house the person that we deemed as your perfect match and if all of them could find their perfect match they get a million dollars right if they don't then they can lose all of the money yeah you know it was crazy she she walked into a house party at my crib and i was like that's the girl and it's been two years and we, you know, we've been very happy, you know. I, I, you know, with relationships, they're tough. You never know what could happen, but I, I don't think I've ever been happier, you know, in, in a relationship than the one I'm in right now. I've never really been a public relationship guy. Uh, this one kind of just like happened publicly and, you know, it's, 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 it's been difficult to the extent of like, you got to see people's comments and stuff like that. but. I'm just happy. I just, I'm, I'm 35, man. I, I really, I don't give a f you know? Like, I'm happy and nobody can steal my joy. And, you know, I, I've, I've been blessed that I've been, you know, in this industry for quite some time. And so, you know, I'm just, I'm in a real happy place. And, and uh, I love, you know, I love sharing my girl with the world. You know, if you're working at, at, at Foot Locker somewhere, you know, behind the register or getting people's shoes, like like I was, I, I worked at Foot Locker, you know, the you gotta have the ambition to one day, I wanna be the store manager, right? I wanna hire the people that work in the store. And then the ambition to, I wanna own my own, you know, store or chain. It's gotta, you know, as a people, we have to continuously grow. And I spent years and years on TV getting told what to do. And then one day you realize and, and you're like, oh, I actually know what to do, right? Because I've been doing this for so long that I'm, I'm actually, I can make decisions. So now my whole life is dedicated to empowering young people. And I think that's, that's the entire goal of life is to, you know, recreate and to help others and to reach back. And, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm very blessed to be in a position to, to do that.